Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel J plus K Retro Gaming. This week's 5 minute gameplay challenge is going to be Mega Man 2 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> So Mega Man 2 is the number 4 game on IGN's all-time NES list. It was brought to us in 1988, and after a slow start sales-wise, it became the franchise's number 2 top-selling game. It received high praise for its audio and visuals, but not only that, some publications came out and said that Mega Man 2 was the best video game ever. What? What? So because I didn't have an NES growing up as a kid, I never played Mega Man 2, uh, nor as I did as a young adult, so I'm going into this gameplay fresh, so let's see what this high praise is all about. <laughs> So for audio and music, Mega Man 2 does live up to its extremely high praise. I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10. Good job! Yeah! Such a great soundtrack, very nostalgic with its ear mesmerizing 8-bit music and sound effects. Can't really say anything bad about this game audio-wise, so perfect 10 out of 10. So for video and graphics, I'm going to give Mega Man 2 8.5 out of 10. So with a lot of NES games that I've reviewed in the past, it really is a toss-up uh, what you'll get visually out of the games, but this game does deliver. It's beautifully animated, not only the characters, but also the lush environments. The variety of landscapes and changing colors in each of the levels uh, is really refreshing for the player. So I was really pleasantly surprised with the visuals of this game, uh, 8.5 out of 10.
So now on to gameplay. And this is where the game's going to not only fall short, but fail miserably. I'm going to give gameplay 4.5 out of 10. Oh boy. So I don't think this game is totally at fault with the score. It's probably a lot of it was my terrible gameplay, uh, terrible skill. Maybe I just played this game too early in the morning, but it was super hard. I couldn't pass any of the levels. As you can see by my playback, uh, I sucked really hard. Yes, thanks! Let me know in the comments if you guys have played this game, if it was just me or uh, if it was pretty hard. After my five minutes of gameplay, I went back and read up a bit about how this game uh, was received, It was if it was really hard. But none of the critics really complained about the difficulty of this game. So, I don't know. I thought it was super hard. The uh, jumping mechanics, uh, you had to be perfect in order to jump on the platforms or the moving uh, obstacles. I just couldn't do it in my first five minutes. So because of that, it took the fun factor uh, out of this game for me. So that's why I gave it a low gameplay score. So that was Mega Man 2 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And finally, a game does not pass my five minute gameplay challenge. So I'm pretty laid back when it comes to my ratings. So a lot of these games do pass the five minute challenge, uh, but this game unfortunately does not. And being the number four game on IGN's list, I did have a little bit of high expectations, but the game was just super hard, not fun at all. I'm probably uh, not gonna pick this game up again, which is unfortunate because I really love the character Mega Man. Uh, but then I'm thinking back of maybe why I didn't play Mega Man a lot as a young adult, uh, I think the games were just a little bit too hard. With all that said, plus all the ratings that I did during my playback, I'm going to give Mega Man 2 for the NES 5.5 Mario's out of 10. So that's it for this week's review. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. As always, thank you all for watching. Thanks to all our subscribers for all your support. We'll see you next week on the next 5 Minute Gameplay Challenge. Until then, Keep fit and have fun. Bye.